Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a review here, me and Roger, of the Chinesium grade five kilowatt diesel heater. Been considering these for a while, but a friend got one that was the wrong size and sold it to me for uh, too good of a deal to pass up. So bought that off of him and uh, was gonna just kind of go through what the insides of these look like and then maybe a review after I get it installed. So it comes with, this is the heater unit here. It's um, pretty big pump. This one came with the, just a knob. Cat did not come. Water tank, I mean diesel tank. Some hoses here. A very awful manual. It's pretty much useless. Um, Pretty much useless. This might be useful. Some ducts, the mounting plate, and uh, so let's look inside this thing. Okay, so to take this apart, this end screws off. Then we pull this lid off. It's pretty simple see here there's just a huge looks to be aluminum casting uh, this looks like it's the glow plug Let me get it out yeah so that's the glow plug um, this whole thing looks like it's double walled for the exhaust and the inlet and I think this is a temperature sensor of some sort. We've got a fan here. Uh, the wires come in. They're just soldered straight on. Um, if you end up with the knob version, the data lines are just there's three for the controller a power ground and something yet to be determined I don't think you can just go get uh, the LCD version I don't I don't know how they're doing that I don't think there's data going through there take that thing apart and check it out Let's see if we can take this cover off I think it comes off I already did this once before Some uh, numbers, seal of confusion. So what do we got here? So this goes to the motor. We've got some sort of controller that's had the numbers wiped. Uh, that looks like that goes to the glow plug. sort of booster circuit. That's the temperature sensor. Uh, that may be a thermal couple, maybe. They've got something here for that. These could be data, an LED. And this looks like it's some sort of fan sensor. Let's see, is there a reflective something? Oh yeah, magnets. So there's magnets to detect the fan speed. It's not, not a whole lot of fail safes. Um, yeah, so then what do we have over here? We've got, I guess these are for the pump. These are for the head unit, controller thermostat thingy. And then these are the power cords. So, not much to it, just a giant chunk of aluminum. And um, let's check inside the uh, controller. I 
right. I don't know if I'm going to get the right brightness here, but let's see if I can get this guy apart. I have to... Okay, there's the knob. On and off. I think there was a... Temperature sensor. Not much to it. Let's see what we can get here. We can discover. Oops, sorry for the shoddy camera work here. I'm doing this one handed. Maybe I put this down and take it off real quick. Okay, and the back cover came off. Not hard, just needs two hands. Get this out. I noticed my power wire was crimped. Come out here. Looks like heat stake. Two heat stakes. May not be able to get that out. I'm gonna pause it again, see what we can figure out here. Okay, so um, the knob has some snaps if you want to get it off. Uh, the heat stakes are actually holding on. Focus these, this little light pipe, not even light guides for the bar graph. Um, so you just pop off that knob and looks like there is a chip up here so uh, if it'll focus that yeah, numbers have been rubbed off some sort of Chinese grade chip so there may be some sort of data communication going on I don't know if it's one way or two way but it doesn't look like there's a provision unless it's these pins here if you got the knob version to come back and decide that you want the LCD version um, okay so I'm gonna make a correction here I believe from looking at pictures on the internet that the LCD controller also just uses three wires so um, disregard that. Uh, I was basing all of that off of this cheesy manual. Shows four wire connection. Um, it's got some real sketchy chinglish in here. Uh, so yeah, a couple other thoughts. Um, you know, if you look at the pictures of the S bar here, the actual original design this is actually goes into the firebox and is a flame detector so on the Chinese version here this is looks like it's just some sort of temperature sensor a thermistor or maybe a thermal couple um, so they're not actually doing any fire detection as far as making sure there's ignition inside there I don't know if that's important or not the Germans certainly thought it was the other thing I'm kind of tempted to do, you know, you're relying on the controller in here if there's a fault, if it gets locked up and just keeps ticking away. You know, you're you're relying on that controller software to figure out that there's a problem and shut everything down. So what I'm tempted to do would be to get um, a thermal switch. You know, that's a pretty standard thing you can get at an appliance store on the internet. I stick it on here somewhere get one that's rated for I don't know maybe 400 volt or 400 degrees Fahrenheit um, you know plastics tend to start melting around 350 and um, put it in line with the solenoid here so the way this thing works is it ticks the pump 
So it applies voltage here, little ticks, and that causes the solenoid to pump a little bit of diesel up in here into the firebox. And there's a mesh that catches that diesel and it burns on the mesh. Um, so I'd be tempted to put a thermal switch on here somewhere that disconnects the pump if things get super hot. Um, just because I don't trust, you know, I know diesel's not exactly explosive, but I don't, I don't know that I trust if the fan stalls, the software is actually going to be smart enough to shut everything down. Just kind of my paranoia from products at this price point may not be vetted, and um, boy, I'd sure hate to burn down my whole house just to save a couple bucks. So, anyways, that's a that's a little interlude to correct what I think might be an error. I do think that this will work with the LCDs after having looked at the eBay listings. They look to have the same three-pin connector. Um, you know, and it's got to have power and ground. That's got to be two of them. So, anyways, that's just an update. I'll show you guys where I think I'm going to stick this. This is my messy, old truck's messy right now, um, side chest that has the air conditioner in it. And I think I might be able to find a spot for it down in here and tie into this existing duct. It runs along here and out the front. I'll probably have to find a new home or rearrange some of this crap I've got stashed in here. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. This here is the heater core, one of the rear heater cores that would go on a bus. Then I scored off somebody, a friend I met. They were upgrading their shuttle bus, turning it, converting it, and uh, passed that along to me. So we'll see. Stay tuned. One last little update for anybody that's curious. Roger and I have renting a spot in the yard. Spent the winter here in Portland. And... This is the uh, house kitty window. Got a nice little spot here. Great town. Summer's coming. Should be on the road here exploring using this as a home base. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos.